This is my favorite fifth wheel toy hauler floor plan, but there's only one problem. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the Forest River Rogue Armored 351G2. This is an amazing, awesome floor plan. They're number one seller across the United States and up in Canada, but there's one issue about it with the West Coast that some folks are not gonna like, and I'll go over that a little bit later. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, I walk around it. it takes me about 10, 15 minutes to do the entire walkthrough and talk about the fifth wheel. Uh, there's not a lot of sound effects. Actually, there's no sound effects, no special effects, no weird editing, just me talking. All right, so let's get started. First, I couldn't unlock these because I didn't have the keys or couldn't find them at the time. But it has a 30 gallon fuel station, 5,500 watt generators already on board. Uh, you have solar panel on the top with charge controller and an inverter because it does have a residential refrigerator. This was open and it's an awesome pass through storage. Look how much space. I mean, if you're in Jersey, you know what you can store under here? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I watched too much of The Sopranos uh, last year. Anyway, uh, if you're wondering why there's tie downs, it's because every single chassis is sent through uh, the factory just like this. This may change, but the floor and the tie downs don't. It's got a six point auto level system. Uh, fresh water, you know, fill and your city water connection are behind that door. Black tank flush, on demand hot water heater. I'm still on the fence about the on-demand hot water heater, but you know, some people swear by it. It is prepped for a ladder get on the roof. If you're noticing, and I'm actually gonna do a video on this. So in February, I'm doing a video about the uh, demise of the propane electric refrigerator. And I'm gonna do a separate video about the ladders, why they're disappearing off new RVs slowly but surely. Okay, going over to the weights. The dry weight is 13,529 pounds. Gross vehicle, 17,435 pounds with two 7,000 pound axles on 16 inch rims. So most newer three quarter ton diesel trucks. Now let's say you have an 02 Ford F250 with the 7.3, not gonna do it. Let's say you got an 06 Chevy 2500 HD with the uh, diesel motor, not gonna do it. If you have an older diesel truck, it has to be a one ton dually. If it's newer, let's say 2017 or newer uh, diesel truck 2500, more than likely you can. What I would recommend guys, if you have a 2500 and you wanna tow one of these, especially these massive bad boys, uh, especially if you have a Ram. Now, if you have a Ford or Chevy or GMC, pretty easy. But if it's a Ram, there's actually a website where you could put your VIN number in and it gives you what your real tow capacity is. No offense to Ram trucks. I'm not bagging on Ram trucks, but God dang, do they have a lot of packages that can make or break the difference between you being able to tow or not. While Ford, Chevy, GMC, a lot easier. Okay, great kitchen. Everybody loves this kitchen, the ambiance lighting, um, the one piece sink. Um, I do have it priced at $79.9 on my website, if you're wondering. I'll actually put a link to my website in the description box below. It's a new year model 2023. Great cabinet storage. It's never been owned. You got the USB charging ports. now. I'm okay with it being on this side because you can charge your phone, your devices up here away from the water. Uh, but there's some floor plans out there. Jeez, they put it like right by the sink and there's nowhere else to put it but by the sink. Uh, no USB charger there. Great kitchen storage for a toy hauler. Not necessarily regular fifth wheels, there's more, but for a toy hauler, woo, doggy. And reminder, one piece sink, my favorito, my favorite. Why? Because I like to be able to cook chili and spaghetti. Uh, tire pressure monitoring system is in there, by the way. 
deep drawers. These are very deep. They're not just thin little drawers. So you can actually put real like utensils in there. Going back to the one piece sink. Oh, that's where the keys are. Boy, am I dumb. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's been a long weekend of filming. Okay, so this one piece sink, I can, you know, wash a big pot for like pasole and tortilla soup, chili, things like that. I can't do that with a two piece. Um, most people in the comments have told me they are, there's, it's a split world. Some love it, some don't. God, great cabinet area right there. Now, this is a weak point of the tray of the fifth wheel. You do have the smaller oven, but you do get the three burner stove. Now, I know the guy that actually runs the plant. And one thing that did change from 2021 till now is they finally did put this uh, plug right here because I told them, look, there's people that want to go from blender straight into pot. <clears throat> there's people that want to use their like ninja and go straight from here and pour it into the uh, a pot or pan. While if you're over here doing it, you have to turn and pour and accidents can happen. So I'm glad that they added that uh, electrical outlet. Uh, you got a residential microwave, full 30 inch. And I love this residential refrigerator. Woo! They, you know, it just, look guys, I am a big fan of the propane electric. It's going away. Let's face it, it's it's going to probably gone by year model 2025, maybe year model 2026. It'll be completely phased out because this got more efficient, okay? Now, if you ask me about a 10-year-old unit that has a residential refrigerator, yeah, I'd be a little scared. But these newer ones, between the solar, the inverter, and the batteries that are recommended for uh, these coaches now, and the way they wire it, it's much more efficient and much better. Now, what I would do personally with a residential refrigerator is I would add one solar panel on the top more than what they give you. And the second thing is I would upgrade the batteries from what the dealership's gonna give you. Most of the time, the dealership's gonna give you some basic 12 volt uh, group 24 batteries. I would go to AGMs, okay? I provide regular batteries because they're easier to access, easier for me to get. Great pantry space. Um, but I do always recommend to folks, after you burn out those batteries, go to AGMs, okay? Uh, big screen TV. Hey, look, uh, actual name brand. Sorry, sarcasm will get me everywhere, right? Uh, you got your fireplace. Uh, and then I, this is something I don't like, but I understand it. They're trying not to have a waste of space, but what are you really going to put up there? I mean, there's not much space in there. Maybe some DVDs. Let me know in the comments section what you would use those cabinets for. By the way, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. You got four recliners in the slide for entertainment purposes, and then we're gonna go into the garage. Now, this is where people are pretty much gonna turn off the video. If you have a four seat Can Am X3 or a four seat Razor 1000 Pro R, it won't fit in this garage. It's only 13 foot. Now, two seaters will fit. Any side by side that's under 13 feet in total length will fit in here. And you got your regular queen, your residence queen side bed up front. You have your booth dinette that turns into a bed. You do have the patio deck kit and you have the sliding door so you could keep the patio open and not have all the mosquitoes and flies come in without that cheapy netting thing that a lot of them do. That is actually both a loft bed and a storage area. So it actually folds up and down. Let's see if I can do it without hurting myself and hurting the camera and make you guys throw up because I move too much. Bam. So there's your bed. It's got a fold mattress as you can see. And when you put stuff up there, you just fold it back up like riding gear when you're riding. 
Washer dryer prep is behind the stairs. That solid step is for the patio kit. And this is something new that I'm very happy about. This used to be just a half bath. It is now a wet bath. So you can now have someone have it used as a toilet, a sink, and a shower. So it is a two full bathroom fifth wheel now. So if used as a bunkhouse, or you have people in the back, they no longer have to shower uh, in the main bathroom. They actually can shower back here. So good stuff. Coming up here into the main bathroom. This is another weak point of the trailer, uh, just because I think they could have done more with it, but I know people are trying to keep the costs relative where they can stay competitive. So it's just a normal one person shower. So two people can shower at one time in this fifth wheel. But I do, I know I'm disgusting, but I do like where the toilet sits because we spend a lot of time sitting on the toilet. Every human being does. And you gotta, you don't wanna feel like you're in a sardine can. You know, you don't wanna feel claustrophobic. Good linen closet space. So basically, they gave you a choice, either claustrophobic toilet area or bigger shower. I'll take, I'll take the toilet position. Medicine cabinet. Sink's a little small, but counter space is good. And then good storage and access for your plumbing. Now it's Jack and Jill entrances. So you got two entrances bedroom, into the bedroom. We'll close that door. All right. Residential king size bed that goes up and down remotely. So it's in the upright position. It has to be in the upright position for the slide out to come in without damaging the bed or the dresser. Your second air conditioner. And you have some good drawer space. Again, deeper drawers than a lot of manufacturers use. If you can't tell, this is one of my favorite fifth wheel brands to sell. By the way, this is one reason why men, because I know the majority of people that watch my videos are men. Men, if you have a Harley Davidson, if you have a shorter two seat side by side, if a 13 foot garage works for you, you need to show your wife that, or your spouse or your girlfriend or your significant other this floor plan. It is the best floor plan in the industry because of this closet. Because the walk around space around the bed, because normally you get a north south bed. But look at this big, huge closet space that you have for shoes, clothes, hangables. I'm telling you, women love this because the full walk around bed, the six foot five ceiling, because normally what happens, I know this is a little bonus thing that I don't normally do. Normally in most of these units that have the bigger garages, the bed goes north and south and it has a wardrobe slide, right? That's the normal. That's the normal that'll fit the Can MX3 four seater, the four seat Pro R. But if you don't have those things, this really works. Trust me, I sold a bunch of these for years and every single time, it, it, they, they just love it. They fall in love with it. Okay, now, in the description box below, I'm gonna put the website, obviously, to my dealership if you, you know, wanna check it out. Um, also, uh, contact information, like my social media, Instagram, Facebook, everything else in the description box below. Now, in the top right-hand corner of this video, I linked another cool fifth wheel toy hauler that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy.